There you go. There you go, it's going. Is it going? Yeah. Hey, y'all. I got my boys, Gavin and Carson. And uh, back in the summer, they decided they wanted to have a pumpkin patch, so they uh, they got one. We're going to get out here, and they're going to start gathering pumpkins and Indian corn. We got plenty of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything. <laughs> I mean, we'll show you a view of it. We'll sh he'll show you a view of it in a minute. That's right. But we're going to get out here, and we're going to make a pile, and we're just going to kind of bring you all along as they're doing it. And uh, we want to thank you for watching. If you, <clears throat> this is the Moors Outdoors y'all hear me talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, y'all just uh, hang in there. We're gonna we're gonna get in the pumpkin patch. Now before you end it, go ahead and tell them what you told us about the stems. Well, I'm trying to teach these boys something, and uh, there comes Miss Lynn, y'all. Come on, Lynn. I told them. Scooch in here. I said, yeah, come on in here tight where you can. Where's Gavin going? Gavin done left the bill. I didn't run Gavin off. I get on this side. Uh, come, come in here, baby. He jump on top of the I told him, I said, now when you're cutting pumpkins, I said, when you're cutting pumpkins, you need to always leave a good stem. Mm -hmm. Because old folks said they'd bleed if you didn't. And if you leave a stem on your pumpkin, these old, these old timey pie pumpkins, they can last up to a year if they are in a cool place. So uh, we're gonna gather pumpkins here and uh, we're gonna just take y'all along with us. We appreciate you watching. What do you think, boys, Miss Lynn? I'm excited. Yeah, you I excited? Too. We got I am plenty, too. We got plenty I, to pick. I know, I looked at, before the, I, know, I looked at the Indian corn a while back, I peeled an ear. It, is, um, it didn't look good, but that was a while ago. I hope it'll look good today because the ears have dropped. Yeah, well, we're going to pull it, too, so y'all just yeah. stay tuned. And if anybody's close by and needs pumpkins, we're these selling. boys, These boys has got a sale on pumpkins and, and Indian corn. And rabbits. And rabbits. Yeah, and and rabbits. <laughs> so we kind of like Mr. Haney used to be on Green Acres. If you need it, bless Pat, we got it. So y'all just come on over. roosters, too. Plenty yeah, of roosters. roosters. Anybody need a rooster? So, you know, we bound to have what you need. If you if we ain't got it, we'll get it. That's the way the old man used to talk. So, anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. Y'all have got the first load, and they're about a third done. And uh, Carson, what do you think about the pumpkins, baby? It's a lot. Yep, yeah, we got more to go. I'm tired. And got a whole. Got a whole thing of Indian corn up there. But I'm proud of my little entrepreneurs. They want to use the money that they can sell stuff with to go towards fixing up their tractors. And I'm very proud of them for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just wanted y'all kind of see as we're going along. Well, y'all, they got a pretty good little jog of Indian corn here. There's a bunch of ears in there. And got some first load unloaded We've got smaller ones here and the bigger ones over there and we're still they're still in the field and uh, you can kind of see how much more is yet to be gathered we're going to try to clean the field before dark but uh See Gavin down there and Lynn, and just want to kind of show you as we go along. We do appreciate y'all watching. It means a lot. We appreciate your support. Old Junior, he's out here supervising. Yeah. Carson, got another load here, Miss Lynn. We getting, <coughs> they getting what was in the corn and trying to go back through. Appreciate y'all watching.
doing that white jean? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, this is our first ever pumpkin patch. And I think they've done very well. I remember the day they got out and planted. <laughs> How hot was it that day, Lynn? About 100. It was about 100 <laughs> degrees. We did it all by hand. Did it, did it all by hand. Pop put the seeds in and covered it up. They, they did it all by hand. They dropped the seed and covered it all by hand and all the Indian corn and the pumpkins. And it was hot. I mean, it was hot. And I told them, I said, well, when you gather, it won't be as hot. But I'm going to tell you what's true, y'all. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. For the first day of November, it's hot. Yeah. We all there counting now. All I know is there's a pile of pumpkins. And there is a pile of Indian corn. And we're going to try to bundle it. So if anybody would like to buy some to decorate with for Thanksgiving, you will have it. <coughs> but we're gonna bundle it. And there's some red. And there's all different colors. We're gonna go through it and get it ready. But uh, that right there was the patch and they've cleaned the patch. But isn't that a pretty sight? They also grew swan neck gourds and the little way white pumpkins. Uh, the morning gourds got in there and about choked it out. We're going to save seed and do them in a different spot next year. So uh, maybe we'll have some more of those next year. But those right there sure are pretty. Y'all, it's kind of an interesting story here. Uh, the first person, to be honest with you, that came to my mind when they started gathering this evening was an old friend who's in heaven now. But his name was Max Dunlap. And uh, Max grew pumpkins every year. And him and Ruth would gather them and they'd put them in the edge of the yard down there and folks come by. And he'd probably give away more than he sold, but he would sell some too. But he'd always have these pie pumpkins. But the other neat thing about this is uh, the Indian corn and the seed of these pumpkins was some that Lynn's grandmother and grandpa, Bowden and Rachel, put up. Lynn, how long have they been passed away? So Grandpa died in 2008. 2008. And Granny died in 2015. She died in 2015. These yeah. seeds were in the freezer, right? They were. We pulled them seed out of the freezer on that 100 degree day and these boys and Lynn got out here and went to cover and stuff. Y'all went out shopping and me and Carson went out here planting pumpkins. We had some sunflowers. You had to go get we had to go, that's right. We went and got groceries and y'all was out here planting pumpkins planting and sunflowers and, and, and sunflowers and Indian corn. Sunflowers, they didn't do But much. this patch is, it's kind of sentimental because it's the first one that they've had and uh, and the seed come from Lynn's grandparents who have been in heaven now for several years. And then it made me think about my old friend, Max. And uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll post some pictures of everything that they gathered, but um, they are gonna sell these pumpkins. And uh, the big pie pumpkins are $5 and the little ones are gonna be $2. Mm -hmm. And uh, these make some mighty good pies. But uh, I'll have a post on Facebook about it and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to bring you along on this fall of the year kind of gathering. And um, we appreciate you watching. If you hadn't liked and subscribe, I'd ask you to do that. Check out the boys' channel. They'll have a video as well. Yeah. And uh, the Moors Outdoors, I'll put a link in the description. And... Uh, but most importantly, what is it, boys? 
Love on folks. Yep. Serve, Jesus. serve folks and brag, brag on, on Jesus. Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's the main thing, y'all. So, uh, from me and Lynn and Gavin and Carson, we appreciate all of you. We love you. And uh, y'all keep watching. Ain't no telling what we'll come up with next. Ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.